do you get in though? Well, it's a fort, that's the point. <laughs> Welcome back Adventure Crew, we're back in Oman and this time we're exploring the area around Nizwa. Culture and history are the order of the day. We'll start at Nizwa Fortress in Souk and with so much to see in this region in so little time, our next stop will be Jabreen Castle. From there we'll leave civilization behind once again and head into the Al Hajar Mountains. En route we'll travel back in time about 4,000 years as we visit the ancient beehive tombs at Al Ain. Our final destination will be Wadi Dam, where once again we'll be in search of adventure. Let's pick up the journey at Nizwa Fortress. How do you get in though? Well, it's a fort, that's the point. <laughs> a lot of things in Oman. This is probably exceeding our expectations, isn't it? It's cool. Yeah, and again, we could have probably done with some more time here. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the uh, over, <laughs> overriding theme of our holiday. Yeah, if someone said, sum up your time in Oman, it'd be, there wasn't enough of it. <laughs> right, I've managed to lure Em to the prison. Yeah, completely trapped. Crimes, various crimes <laughs> against the, the Sultan of Oman, and I'll be leaving her here. <laughs> to be honest, it's quite cool down here, though. <laughs> Let's see how you feel about that in six months. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looking through uh, Nizwa Castle which is basically this incredible museum. It's so interesting. Yeah, um, I'd love to be able to read all of the information yeah. they've got here. Um, but yeah, we just don't have time. Yeah, you could easily spend all day. Yeah, it's you really, really, could. really cool. We haven't even gotten to the, the fort proper yet. So let's keep going. This is basically a debilitatingly good tourist attraction. <laughs> we'll be lucky to get out of here. All the information is so comprehensive. Yeah. And, and just the building is fantastic. And it's so huge. interesting. Yeah. There's so many little rooms and nooks and crannies you can go into and explore. And, and yeah. then, uh, you, you really should allow sort of a, a day a probably day yeah, in Nizwa to maybe do the fort in the morning and the souk in the yeah. afternoon. Into the fort itself. Into the fort. Lead on. Watch out for those pit traps. Oh, wow, I found a uh, murder hole nice. straight away. Look at that. So, sort of oil or boiling water will be poured down here on unsuspecting intruders. Yeah, here's Here likely is, uh, one of the pitfalls. One of the pitfalls. If you escaped the murder hole, then you'd yeah. quickly be dropped down. This what shot. they describe as a double trap. Yeah. Brilliant. Up the stairs.
the top of Nisra Fort. Yeah, and the view is absolutely stunning. Yeah, this is cool. We've got the the main mosque right next to us, and then 360 degrees around the whole city. Perfect oasis surrounded yeah, by looks... mountains. So much greenery for Oman. It's brilliant. So that's the end of Nisra Fort for us. Um, I think we're going to head into the Souk, which is actually just around the corner, and maybe have a look for some relics of our own. <laughs> Speaking of relics, hello. <laughs> <laughs> now which is really really lovely place to come and visit you don't don't get any hassle here it's very relaxed it's true um, and a few sort of quite upmarket little shops uh, where you can buy some really nice jewelry um, so yeah if, if you want to have a quiet shopping experience then Nisma Souk is uh, definitely the one well, as ever time ticks on and we need to move on to our next castle I think So this is Jibrin Castle, or Jibrin, depending on where you read it. Let's go and check this place out. What's it like? It's very pretty. And what I love is you go through here thinking it's actually part of the castle, but it's an open courtyard. Oh, lovely. Oh, wow, very cool. There's some good views out these windows. This is a wicked view. It's the sort of inner courtyard. My first impression of this place was it wasn't that big, but we keep discovering new sections. <laughs> and it's, wow, look at the ceiling in here. It's huge. Oh, lovely. Wow. After some time, we've made it onto the roof. It's so, just so many hidden sections in yeah, this castle, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's huge. Let's check out the views. It's up to the very top. was Jabreen Castle. What did you think, Em? Really beautiful, um, really nice finish with all the different pottery and chests. Yeah, really beautifully decorated uh, and definitely worth a visit. So now we're uh, 
doing kind of what comes more naturally is we're heading back into the wilderness for the next few days so waterfalls wadis tombs all that kind of thing await us yeah i'm ready for a swim i think well let's see what we can do about that so we are on the trail of some beehive tombs uh, near Wadi Al Ain, and these are um, bron Arabian Bronze Age tombs. I think they're sort of up to three or four thousand years old. Here we are with more luck than judgment, <laughs> and um, here are the beehive tombs. So we From found nowhere. a little pathway through the fence here. We're going to go up and check them out. Yeah. I believe there are 19 in total. Also, it's a kind of weird number. I love stuff like this, very mysterious. Yeah. So these beehive tombs predate the castles we were visiting earlier today by? By a long... By about three and a half thousand years. All in a kind of line along this, this really kind of nondescript ridge. You've just committed an archaeological crime there. Have I? Yes. <laughs> the hour grows long. It's time to find a campsite before it gets dark. We're going to have a look in the area of Wadi Dam and see if there's anything, anything good. Final look at the two rooms, all laid out along the ridge. After our brief stop at the Beehive Tombs, we quickly headed up the bumpy track to Wadi Dam to make our camp under the stars. Morning everyone, we made it to Wadi Dam last night where we had a, a nice camp and now we're going to check out the Wadi. We have found a likely path down. scene that we've come to expect from Oman's waddies. Lots of frogs swimming about. Wow, loads of frogs. Teeming with life these waddies always are. Full of uh, amphibians and loads of butterflies and dragonflies. And... these caves. Wow, a really impressive cave, like roof here must be like 30 meters wide.
this is a nice part where the, uh, the canyon kind of narrows, kind of a slot canyon. This is quite cool. Yeah. Got sort of slot canyons now, potholes. Take a dip in there in a bit. Right, well, we couldn't come to Wadi Dam and not have a quick swim. Nope, not the down the waterfall. Yeah, a little mini slot canyon adventure. All 20 meters of it. stage in our Oman trip we've been pretty spoiled for Wadi's having seen some of Oman's best. For us Wadi Dam was no comparison to the likes of Wadi Shab or Wadi Mibam for example but it's still definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. Heading on to Oman's answer to the Grand Canyon. 